Yes, so this question says a shell of mass M is at rest initially explodes in three fragments with this as the mass ratio of the three fragments, 2 to 1. And the fragments with equal mass fly off along mutually perpendicular directions with the speed V. So you have to find the speed of the lighter fragment. Okay, so the mass of the total uh, body was M. It got split, exploded. Let's say this went this way. The mass of this one is 2m upon 5. So, two parts of m by 5 and one other of the same mass, 2m upon 5 only, is going in this direction and velocity for both of them is v, v each. v, v each. Okay. So, we know that the total momentum initially, the total linear momentum of the mass m was zero it was at rest okay and it is you know it is exploding so there is no external force from outside there is no external force anywhere on the mass m outside so the total linear momentum is going to be conserved okay it was zero initially later on after the explosion also the total linear momentum has to be zero right so you know by symmetry we can see here that the third mass will be going in this direction. Okay. So, you know, you can see and, you know, try to use the symmetry of the situation to figure out that, okay, if these two are perpendicular, if, you know, this angle is 90 degree, so this will be going like this and this should be 135, 135 each. That is half of the remaining 270 degrees. So it should be going, the third one should be going like this. You know, because, because that small mass you know, are biased towards any one direction. Because these two masses are of the same mass. These two bodies are of the same mass and, and are going with the same final velocity is V. Right. So, it should not be biased towards any one, uh, you know, towards any one direction. It is, you know, it is going to be midway between. So, that is the idea. So, uh, the angle has to be 135, 135 each or... If you don't want to use the symmetry, you can use the Lamy's theorem even, right, to set the momentum uh, like that. So, Lamy's theorem, you can use the momentum in this direction upon sine of this angle. Okay, so if you don't want to use, you can use Lamy's theorem. So, but this angle has to be 135 degrees if you use this much. So, straight away you can say that, okay, this 2m upon 5, this momentum along this upon sine of this angle. That is 2mv upon 5 upon sine 135 is equal to this velocity, is, let's say v dash. Okay, the third particle, the third fragment, the velocity is, let's say, v dash. The mass is going to be m upon 5, right? So, this is equal to by Lamy's theorem again. It should be m upon 5 v dash upon sine of the opposite angle. This is 90, right? Sine 135 is 1 upon root 2. So, this m by 5, m by 5 gets cancelled. So, 2 root 2 v is equal to v dash. Okay. 2 root 2 v is equal to v dash. This becomes the answer and the velocity for the third fragment. Okay. And if you don't want to use, you don't want to assume that there is a symmetry and it is, it, the third fragment will be going, you know, like midway between the two. So, you can use Lamy's theorem there also to get the angle also if you want. Okay. So, in the same case, if I want to find the angle even, I don't want to trust that uh, it will be, you know, the third one will be midway. So, the mass of this one is 2m by 5 velocity v after the explosion. This one is 2m by 5, the velocity is v. And the third fragment, the smallest one is, let's say at some angle, theta here, the mass is m by 5 and let's say the speed, the velocity is v dash. Okay. It is given to us that this is 90 degrees. This is theta I assume. So, this has to be 70 minus theta, right? And the net of the three particles, the total momentum has to be 0, right? The sum of the three momentums has to be 0, right? So, again, I can use Lamy's theorem. Momentum is a vector quantity. If you have a concurrent, if you have three concurrent vectors coming up to zero, 
we use Lamy's theorem. Okay. So using the Lamy's theorem, we can say that for this one, if I write 2mv upon 5 upon sine of the opposite angle, this angle sine theta is equal to this 2mv upon 5, that momentum, that vector upon sine of this angle, sine of 270 minus theta is equal to mv dash upon 5 upon sine of the opposite angle that is 90 degrees here, 90 degrees, right? Now sine 270 minus theta is negative cos theta, right? So if I take just these two, I will get m v and 5 that will cancel out 2 m v. So from there I get sin theta is equal to negative cos theta because this thing here is negative cos theta. So sin theta is equal to negative cos theta happens for theta is equal to what? 135 degrees or 3 pi by 4. This happens for 3 pi by 4. So again we have the angle theta here 3 pi by 4 or 135 degrees. Okay. Or you can say 3 pi by 4. Right? So sine theta will be 1 upon root 2. Again, we have just take, you know, the first one and this one, they are equal. So you say from there, 2mv upon 5 sine of 3 pi by 4, right? Or 135 degrees is equal to mv dash upon 5 upon sine 90 is 1, right? 1. Okay, so from here, m5, m5, this gets cancelled. This is 1 upon root 2. So 2 root 2, v is equal to v dash. Again, I reach the same answer, option number 3 here. So this becomes the answer 2 root 2, v for the question. Okay, thank you.